Hey everybody, this is going to be an upgrade to my one of my most popular videos of all time. It has over 500,000 views, um, and it's the question I get asked absolutely the most by new beginners, and that is, hey, I just finished this sweet new website. How do I make it an actual website? I've got my HTML and CSS files and stuff, but I actually want to turn it into myawesomesite.com. How do I do that? Is there cost associated with that? And what is the easiest, fastest, cheapest, best path for me? Uh, so the short answer is there is no one answer to it. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. Um, and as your skill level grows, you may actually choose some different methods. Like as you learn GitHub and as you learn other things, there's, there's a variety of methods out there. Uh, but if you're starting off and you're an HTML, CSS developer, the absolute easiest way to go is to get a shared hosting server by a domain name through a separate domain name registrar. Uh, so that way, instead of 127.0.0.1, you have myawesomedomain.com. And then you're going to get a web server, a web hosting plan. The web server is a computer that lives on the internet that's constantly online. And you're going to put your HTML and CSS files on that server. And then you're going to point your domain name to that server and then ta-da you have a website and if you ever want to move the server somewhere else you have your domain separate you can set up a different server and point your domain to the new server that's why it's very important to keep them separate uh, it makes that a lot simpler so we're going to go through that on this video we're going to try to do it in record time get all the steps so you can actually see me by an actual domain by an actual hosting plan and then connect the two and you are done. Um, I'll also mention that I have links to these two places I'm going to recommend in the description. If you use those links, you will support this channel. Um, so they are affiliate links. Uh, however, it very important for me to mention that I will never ever ever recommend something that I don't fully believe is the best solution for the developers I'm recommending it to. So I would never ever give a false recommendation in order to uh, get support for the channel or anything like that. Uh, so I'm on IWantMyName.com. This is my favorite place. This is where I keep my domains, my absolute favorite place for domains to live. It's super easy. They give you domain privacy for free, which is my favorite thing about them. Um, and uh, so, yeah, you just start off by searching for a domain. Let's say MyAwesomeWebsite.com. Nope, not .zom. How about .com? There you go, MyAwesomeWebsite.com is available let's buy this thing wait nope it's taken my awesome new website.com see if you got that one the internet's got that one available for me let's buy it let's go ahead check out my awesome new website.com you can see that it's going to cost 14 dollars. i'll go back real quick uh, some of these newer domains might be as expensive as 70 or a hundred dollars so the dot coms are the cheapest but they're the hardest to get exactly what you want as well i can also say that dot coms tend to do a little bit better in search engine optimization so that is something to think about so i'm going to go ahead and check out and then uh, i'll enter my credit card address and go through all this i'll skip that for you i'll see you at the next step Okay, boom, I filled out all my credit card information. I bought myawesomenewwebsite.com. You can see I'm on my dashboard. I can go ahead and click on that. And the most important thing that I can do is I can change my name servers down here. Now, I have to buy web hosting first. I'm going to get some web hosting, and then I'm going to point these name servers to the web hosting. Also, you can see that I got privacy enabled by default, which means that uh, you people cannot look up the website and get my home address, which is what you get if you don't have domain privacy turned on. So let's go over here to shared hosting plans on hostgator.com. Again, link is in the description. Um, and you can either buy it for a single domain or unlimited domains. Uh, and then SSL certificate comes baked in on all of them. That means the HTTPS which with the lock, which is good. Um, if you do want to do unlimited domains, multiple domains, maybe you're going to be building several websites for several people, uh, like another dollar or two a month, and you can get this one instead. That's definitely a good move. Uh, so let's go ahead and buy this one, though, because we just have our one domain. We can say, hey, I already own this domain of myawesomewebsite.com, ta-da, myawesomenewwebsite.com, so I don't need to purchase that. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill out some username and security pin information, but let's come down here first and see. You can see that the, the bigger you go, the more discount they're going to give you. Obviously, that makes sense. There's a few coupon codes that you can always use. Uh, you can use Let's Make a Deal, uh, that's a coupon code that they give me because I recommend so many people over to them at this point. Um, and that's going to give you a really good discount. You can see that if we go over to, I don't know, just say 12 months, uh, 
then that gives us 35% off. You can see that the coupon code is reflected here, up to 40% off. So that's a really good coupon code. Um, other coupon codes that they always have out there is drop 10 bucks and drop 25 perks, so drop 25%. Those kind of always work at any point in time as well. But I think let's make a deal is kind of the best coupon code that I've found for them. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to make sure you do is turn off all this stuff because they are going to want to upsell you on all these other things that you may or may not need. Uh, if you're not good at backing up your code, you might want to pay the $2 a month for that. If you want Gmail to power your email addresses, uh, then $5 a month is what Gmail charges. So um, you can get your address at yourdomain.com, but it's all through Gmail. That's what I do personally. That's a great way to do it. Uh, but that is $5 a month as well. So there are some extra things you can buy, but you don't really need them. I'm going to go ahead and buy this hosting here and uh, we'll see you at the next step. Hey, so check this out. I've got all my credit card information added. And because I'm going to delete this account after I make it, um, I just got the one month and I did the drop 10 bucks. I get to buy this for 0.01 cents. Now, that's probably not the route you want to go. If you want to have your website around for a little while, you're going to want to buy more than one month. And the let's make a deal coupon code is probably going to be a better deal for you overall, because after this, it goes up to like the full eight or ten dollar monthly plan. Uh, but one of the things I actually really do like about HostGator is they're one of the only places that lets you do a month to month shared hosting plan. Lots of places make you do a minimum of three months. So I figured I'd point that out. Pretty cool that you can't actually get started for one penny. OK, there you go. I now have a web host. And again, the web host is where we're going to put our HTML and our CSS files and they're going to always be online. And we are going to point our domain name to the web host as well. So you can see I've got a hosting package here. Let's go ahead, click over on the hosting tab and I can find out the details that I need to send my domain name over. I'm going to click on manage here. And it's going to take just a second to load and then I can find what are called my name servers. My name servers are what I need to plug in here. Let's go update name servers on IWantMyName.com. And let's go to settings here. And there we go, we have our name servers. I only have two name servers, which is more common than four. So name server one, name server two. And then I just get rid of all the others. You can see they only require two. Lots of places only have two. And now our domain name is pointed to our dashboard. So all we wanna do now is let's go back to overview and let's go to file manager and upload our files. And then we are going to be done. So when I click on our file manager here, you can see that we've got this folder structure. This is our actual server. We're kind of connected to that. Uh, this www is a folder, so I can double click on that. I've got this default.html. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to right click and hit delete. So now let's upload my own stuff. Let's click upload here and select some files from my desktop. I've got my websites and index and a styles.css. Let's add index. Let's add style CSS. They're both uploaded. Let's go back here and see if we can find them. Ta-da, they're there. And now let's try going to my awesome new website.com. Took me a long time to type that out. And ta-da, you can see that I actually have a website, myawesomenewwebsite.com. It is uploaded, it is online, it is finished. It's, it's really that easy. Get a domain name, get hosting, uh, and HostGator obviously, and I want my name, do make it very easy. Other places like GoDaddy make this process much more frustrating. Uh, there are a lot of hosts that make this process a lot more detailed in the steps that you have to take, uh, which is why I like these two companies. They make it very, very simple, very fast. It all happens real time. Um, and so in just a few minutes, I've gotten a website up. Uh, I've got my files on it and we are good to go. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope you feel empowered to go create your own actual websites on the actual internet now. Um, if you have any questions or you feel like there's anything I missed, definitely leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up the questions that you had yourself so they'll bubble up to the top and help anybody else uh, that may have extra questions that don't get answered very well. Um, and yeah, hope you have a great day and hope you found this useful.